At least 11 cadets and PMA officers are facing punishment for the death of cadet 4th class Darwin Dormitorio. PMA executives also denied that hazing is mandatory culture in the academy, as earlier claimed by Senator Bato de la Rosa. Pat Pangune with the rest of the story. Six days after the death of Cadet 4th Class Darwin Dormitorio, the Philippine Military Academy concluded its administrative investigation. In a press conference in Baguio City, the PMA listed all accountable for Dormitorio's death. Four upperclassmen are due to be dismissed from the academy for direct participation, encouraging maltreatment and command responsibility. Two will be suspended for one year, while one was penalized with demerits, punishment, and 180 days of confinement at the academy. Relieved from their posts are four officers from the tactics group and the PMA hospital. This includes the attending physician of dormitorio. The PMA said they do not condone any form of maltreatment. We are not aware of any initiation rights inside the PMA. Uh, there's no such thing as us representing. There are no initiation rights. But uh, stipulated in uh, the uh, CCAPR, uh, for Armed Forces Defense Regulation Series of 2013, there are specific provisions there that uh, defines maltreatment as a violation. It was wrong for a cadet to die in the hands of fellow cadets. Maltreatment is wrong in PMA. PMA Superintendent Lieutenant General Ronnie Evangelista and the Commandant of Cadets Brigadier General Bartolome Vicente Bajaro, meanwhile, have relinquished their posts. I think being the one uh, responsible as the head of the superintendent, that I think this is now the right time that I have to step down. The AFP Board of Generals will decide on their replacement. Malacanang commended Evangelista's decision. Presidential spokesperson Salvador Panelo said just showed his delicadeza. Immediately in a siya, including the deputy, I understand. And this is a, the right step to maintain the integrity of the Philippine Military Academy. Panelo assured Dormitorio's family of justice. We will prosecute those who are behind this murderous, I will classify this murderous, because hazing is intentional, inflicting physical injuries on the victim. For News 5, Patricia Mangune, We Are One News.